What is up, ladies and gentlemen, Spade here, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Bazilia. Not gonna lie, I almost hit record of Agros War Zero. <laughs> Last game I recorded. So yeah. Anyway, it's been about twenty minutes since the first episode. Learned how to mute the controller's microphone. Fooled around with the recording settings a bit. And it seems like the first episode recorded fine. Uh, anyway, let's just continue. I know we didn't do much the first episode. We pretty much just looked around Velvet's house. So yeah, let's just move on. But there's another one of these things here. More than one. They're like three though. What's this? Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Selica taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Alright, so it's Selica. I'm still a healing lag. That's going to annoy me a lot. It's completely true when I was heading back from the sub I saw Lapani <laughs> I remember you say his name again talking to someone and he was all alone. Isn't that right? I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, it's the cat. Hmm. So Oh my god, that lag is going to annoy me. So I think it's actually low with the recording quality. It's still 720p, but it's the lowest. I won't even know we on the map. Oh, uh, there's a sign in here. Pick that up. Oh, we can't talk to you, but we can talk to you. since the opening seven years ago. This world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. 
What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. Huh. Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Yeah, this life is really going to mess me up. I was really behind. I didn't hear any of that till it was pretty much over. Hey, Velvet! Is Lafacette feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest, I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafisette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back, like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Luffy all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. What else do you have to say? As much as I hate to say, I might actually end up, up having to record this in full, in 480p, but end up making the video itself 720p. I should probably stop talking about things. Before I go into the forest, I don't have a lot of money to spare, but like Arthur always says, Battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. And here I thought I muted it. <sighs> Maybe I actually had to close the game, then I had to open it up again. Maybe that's why. Ah, uh, this isn't voiced. Oh, so this is pretty much the weapon sop. With no weapons. Hmm. Alright, so we own three apple jewels. And we have 200 gold. Not worth trying to waste it. You could say that, but we, it's, it's just looking. I hate how I can hear the button clicking. I'd see you around then. I mean, we haven't talked to you yet.
Oh, that last line went by way too fast. Now let's let's go back into town. We want to talk to this person. The demon blight is a punishment sent to us by the Empyreans for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Empyreans? The four Empyreans created the world. The one Empyrean shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know, I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. 16, huh? I also will guess 17. <laughs> guess I forgot how old Velvet actually was. We have a few more people we can talk to here at least. Also, I feel like what may be causing the lag here around you might actually be the falling leaves. That might be why. I saw someone here. What news? Nothing too important as far as I can tell. No matter where am I? I lost track. Well, let's go up in this way. Oh, so this is story here. Stars usually mean store. I know. Means a lot as usual. Save points. Or spots, whatever. Yeah, yeah, you made a quick save. Off screen. Just in case this episode went wrong. Might as well save the game regularly. That's what's going on here. I saw a group of dozens of demons real close to town. If they attack, we're done for. I think we should run now while we can. Run? To where? There are demons everywhere in Midgand. We have nothing to worry about. My brother Arthur can protect the ball. Arthur, huh? They say he used to be one of those exorcists who could control Malakim. And only exorcists can defeat demons. Yeah, we've all heard the fairy tales. So of all the swindlers who pose as exorcists, to con honest folk out of their gall. Hey! Arthur isn't like that! If he was a real exorcist, why didn't he protect Celica when the demons attacked? That's because... Luffy and I... we... Besides, Arthur is just an outsider who drifted into our village one day. We don't know anything about his past. Then you must think we're outsiders too. 
Our parents weren't from here either. Uh, back to business. We need to deal with these demons. You're right. We've got to defend our village ourselves. That's what it comes down to. Save the dreaming about exorcists and Malakim for when we're asleep. There we go, talk to him it seems. So what are you gonna say? Go for a walk. I'm guessing this is supposed to be like an ox or a cow. Oh, there's a sunny though. Rabbits. Alright. No, but that bunny was so cute. Uh, kids being kids, I guess. More bunnies here. Guess we can't go this way quite yet. Uh, at this point I think we've talked to everyone we can at this point. So let's just make our way to story progressing. Back in town. And we'll be leaving pretty soon. Now let's check over here first. Apparently we can't. Guess that's like a shortcut then. Are uh, you done talking to the control velvet? I need to try and figure out how to actually mute that. Try, but it didn't seem like it worked. Obviously, a dead end. But apparently, we're gonna examine. Oh, wait, is this? That's gonna get annoying real quick. Uh, 
battle the toil. Combo attacks can be performed based on the number of souls each skill that currently possesses. As are the diamonds of souls. And usually for me it's pretty much just random button massing. Button massing. By stunning, defeating, or whatever the hell that was. So we can just get souls from doing more combos. And so we have to stun him. I guess this is just a regular fight now. I think we just defeated one. Is that all? Yeah, I'm not reading that. Yeah, that's how it's done. Yeah, I need to try and figure out how to mute that. Alright, so apparently we have a skit. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickle bore meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them. But they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkle boars? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Piggle Boar? Yeah, Piggle Boar! That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. Oh my. Moving on, I guess. Entering a cave. No, I no. Why the hell does this look so nice? The fall leaves the bright blue sky in this cave. Oh, well. moving on. The toil battle, alright. Another one. Soul Gates. When SG drops to the zero, you can. You can still attack, but you will be knocked back if you try to defend. I told you to do at least a combo. Huh?
Arthur's second maxim. Know your foes and I'm honestly trying to mute that. He was like And the second one goes. Not bad. Now I'm watching this chest. Apple gel. Chisel chest. Three kinds of chests can be found. Hmm. I chose just copper, silver, and gold. Not sure if there's actually a trophy for opening all treasure chests in the game. There's a Tales of Exilia I had that. Weird Tales the only Tales of game I beat. Now let's save the game once more. So I think we're going to call it a part here and continue next time. So till then, stay golden.